I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a communication question on limits. The question here is, find the values of M and B if limit x approaching 0 for the given function square root of mx plus b minus 4 divided by x is equal to 1. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So what happens here when I substitute x equals to 0? If I substitute 0, I get 0 in the denominator. If 0 is in the denominator, limit does not exist, correct? But in our case, limit exists. It is 1. That means for x equals to 0, numerator should also be 0. That is very important to understand. So in that case, we'll get a form which we call indeterminate, right? So this is called indeterminate form. If we get 0 over 0, then the strategy is to rationalize and find the limit. So that means we should actually rationalize this function and then see what values of m and b can result a limit of 1. Correct? So that is the strategy here. So in general, we'll rationalize this function. So I hope this part is clearly understood. It's a very important part to get full marks for communication. Okay, so what we're given here is limit x approaches 0. The function is square root of mx plus b minus 4 over x. Rationalize means multiply and divide by its conjugates. We get mx plus b plus 4, correct, divided by square root of mx plus b plus 4, right? So that will be equal to limit x approaches 0. So this is difference of squares. Square of mx plus b square root will be mx plus b. Square of 4 will be 16. That's the numerator. And in the denominator, we get x times product of this. Square root of mx plus b plus 4, correct? So that's what we get. Now, since we want 0 in the numerator, it means what? It means that a couple of things, the whole thing should be, whole thing should be, x should be a common factor, that's one thing we are looking for, and then we can find the value of m, right? If I substitute 0 here, uh, let me do that. So if I want mx, plus b minus 16 equal to 0 for x equals to 0. In that case, what should be the value of b? That is what we're trying to figure out, right? So if I substitute 0 here, I get m times 0 plus b minus 16 equals to 0. Now this is 0, so that means b minus 16 equals to 0. And that implies that b is equals to 16. Do you see that? So we got a value for b. 16 perfect by equating numerator to 0 now i'll continue using this value b 16 so we can write this as limit x approaches 0 and what we have here is mx plus so i'll use the value b as 16 right minus 16 x times square root of mx plus, let me write 16 here, okay, plus 4. Is that okay? Now 16 minus 16 is 0, so what we get here is limit x approaches 0, mx over x times square root of mx plus 16 plus 4. Now you can cancel x. Once you do that, you get m over all this. Do you see that? You get m over all this. Now, and you can substitute 0 here, right? So we get this function as equals to limit x approaches 0, m over square root of mx plus 16 plus 4. Now we want this limit to be 1, correct? We want this limit to be 1. 
So if I substitute 0 here, what do I get? So let me let me show you that. So if I substitute 0, I get m over square root of m times 0. Perfect. I'm substituting this 0, the limit, plus 16, plus 4, correct? Now I want this to be equal to 1. How can I get that, right? I can get that only, only if numerator and denominator are same. Perfect. Okay. So that implies that m over m times 0 is 0, right? We are left with square root of 16 plus 4, which is m over 4 plus 4 which is m over 8. So m over 8 should be equal to 1. Do you see that? And that implies that m should be equal to 1 times 8, which is 8. So we get the value of m as 8. Only when m is 8, the limit of this function will be 1. Perfect. So, so the limit of the function, let me write limit, x approaches 0 m we are saying is 8, 8x, b is 16 for us, minus 4 over x. If you calculate this limit, it is going to be 1, right? So you think, so that's the way it could be done. So our answer is b equals to 16, m equals to 8, right? So what we get here is b equals to 16 and m equals to 8. I hope this method helps you to understand how to find these values m and b, right? So I've gone kind of in steps to show you why and at which stage we should do some substitution to get the right values, right? So the strategy is first it has to be indeterminate, only then the limit exists. For that numerator should be 0 for x equals to 0. That gives us the value of b. Once we rationalize to get limit as 1, the numerator and denominator should be same for x equals to 0, and that gives us value of m as 8. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. Feel free to share my videos, subscribe to them, and if you like, put some likes. Thank you, and all the best.